Hey, what's going on guys? This is Steel Rain coming back at you with my summary and synopsis from my last video of these eight batteries. Uh, the uh, 80 amp continuous current discharge. Uh, it was a little bit longer video, so I'm going to make this one pretty short and just kind of go over some of the results real quick. Um, first thing I'd like to state is that uh, all these batteries were bought by myself with my own money with the uh, exception of the gold label from Indestructible Quads. Uh, they sent that in for testing and review, so thank you for that. And um, at any time, if uh, you need to refer to, uh, you know, anything, any information, it'll be in the um, the video description and uh, the uh, the uh, link to the spreadsheet will be there as well. Okay, the first battery we're going to start off with is going to be the Thunder Power Adrenaline. Uh, 1600 milliamp ADC series. Um, it pulled a max burst of 26 seconds. Um, let me see here. It had a total burst of nine uh, before the test was considered complete, and its final temperature ended up at 148 degrees. Its internal resistance, uh, brand new, was at 23. The pack weighs in at 181 grams and uh, the price I paid for it was $39.99. Uh, I know of a lot of guys have tested this particular pack and have had you know pretty good results including Joshua Bardwell but you know for me 40 bucks for this pack that's on a premium price range and 26 seconds is all right for its maximum burst but as you'll see when we go down the line a lot of other packs that I had including um, cheaper packs uh, that you'll see in the spreadsheet had uh, a lot better time so uh, next one we'll go to will be the the tattoo R-Line 1550 uh, milliamp hour 95C and uh, this one had a max burst of one minute and five seconds I mean that's that's pretty incredible at 80 amps before it dropped down to 14 volts. Uh, it had a uh, total of five bursts. Uh, ended up being 149 degrees in the end. And had an internal resistance of 16, which is pretty good considering. Uh, came in at 194 grams. It's pretty, you know, pretty porky, but. I mean, it is a pretty big battery and performs pretty good. Uh, but that also, along with that, also comes the uh, premium price that I paid of uh, $44.88. So, but uh, 65 second burst at uh, 80 amps, that's, that's pretty incredible. So, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one, which will be uh, the one I've been seeing a lot on Facebook new battery just got released the infinity uh, race spec force graphene edition ADC to 110 C and uh, everything I've seen on the Facebook uh, multi rotor multi rotor groups has been showing this battery just killing the competition um, so I went ahead and bought one from Banggood to try out for this test um, its max burst was uh, 29 seconds it had nine bursts and ended up being 129 degrees at the end of testing. Its internal resistance was at uh, 26, weighs in at 182 grams, and came in at $27.57. Uh, not too bad for the price. I mean, it it's, did pretty good for a, a burst rating of 29 seconds. I mean, it beat the thunder power, the bigger thunder power or adrenaline, and it uh, it weighs a lot less, costs a lot less, but still nowhere close to the Tattoo R line 95C. So we'll go ahead and move on from there. And one of the batteries that I tested next was the Rebel, and I've seen a lot of these. Um, you know, and they have some pretty good uh, marketing saying that. You know they don't believe in the hype and all the other stuff uh, when it comes to discharge ratings so they're as you can see it's using a five 
llama discharge rating, which to me, you know, whatever. So they're trying something new for marketing. Uh, so I decided to pick up a couple. This is the 1580 milliamp hour. And uh, let me see here. It did a max burst rating of three seconds. It, it just instantly sagged and did pretty horribly. I mean, one of the worst batteries I've ever tested. Uh, so it did, uh, it can only do four bursts because as soon as I turned on the uh, 80 amps, it just sagged way below to where it was supposed to be. Uh, its internal resistance came out to be uh, about around 40. Uh, it weighs in at around 173 grams and comes out to be 39.99. Now, that's in the premium pack range. Um, personally, I, you know, I I wouldn't pay half the price for this battery because it's. I just think it's way overhyped. It underperforms. It sags too much in voltage. Its internal resistance pretty much tells the, you know the story of how it's going to perform. It did not do well at all. So. You know, we'll just leave it at that, go on to the next. <clears throat> the next battery is going to be the Indestructible Quads Gold Label, high voltage, uh, 85C discharge, 1500 milliamp. This is the only battery that was uh, sent to me for a review. Uh, so thank you to Indestructible Quads. And uh, this battery did pretty well. It had a, a max burst of uh, 51 seconds a uh, total of six bursts and ended up being 139 degrees uh, at the end of testing. Its internal resistance it was at 23, weighs in at 176 grams and the kicker 25 bucks. I mean not bad at all. It it actually performed you know on top of batteries that are 10 15 bucks more than it. Um, I'll be doing some more testing on this battery down the road in the future for long term because as we all know high voltages never really do the best they kind of lose their kick after about 20 30 cycles so I'll be putting out uh, another video on that when I'm when I'm done with the long term testing and see how it holds up but so far you know it it's an excellent battery uh, you know compared to the rest and the uh, categories <laughs> So next is going to be the the Thunder Power Adrenaline 1300 milliamp ADC, the smaller of the of the two, and uh, this one surprisingly did pretty well. It uh, its first burst and longest was 55 seconds, which is you know pretty pretty remarkable for a battery this size. Uh, had a total of five bursts and. 173 degrees was its final temperature. Now that's pretty hot, but the fact that it bursts for 55 seconds is why the temperature, you know, increased so much. I'm actually happy that it didn't have thermal runaway and start on fire at that point. But uh, that goes to attest how good the battery is. Uh, its initial internal resistance was sitting at 26. Uh, weighs in at 153 grams and it costs 34.99 and you know that's that's a premium price for a 1300 milliamp battery of this size I mean there's a lot cheaper stuff out there but this one here actually was one of my best performers out of all the 1300 series batteries that I've tested so uh, you know overall I'm I'm pretty happy with it and you know but for the price you pay you should be getting that that sort of performance so go ahead and uh, move on to the next one which is going to be the tattoo r-line 1395 uh, c and uh, this is another very impressive battery for its size it bursted for 63 seconds so it's the overall winner of the 1300 series batteries for the longest burst which was its first by the way um, had a total of three bursts before it depleted and I couldn't test it anymore. Uh, ended up with a temperature of 154 degrees. It had a initial internal resistance of 17, which is you know quite low overall. Uh, weighs in at 166 grams 
and costs thirty-seven dollars and sixty-five cents. Um, like I said, another premium battery that you know had a lot of hype surrounding it. I never had any luck. I've actually tested uh, the previous seventy-five C versions and was not impressed. They just had horrible voltage sag for the price they wanted. But uh, they seem to up their game with this one a bit, and uh, you pretty much get what you pay for when it comes to this battery. It's the overall winner in the, this category. So next, I'm going to move on to the very last battery out of all eight, which was this Rebel Pack. Same with his big brother, uh, five llama discharge rating, whatever that means, and uh, 1,360 milliamp, and. Uh, <laughs> What you'll see is that this battery pretty much mimics its brother. It uh, it had its longest burst was five seconds, which is not very good at all. It sagged horribly. Um, had 16 bursts, which is not good either because you really want less less burst and longer bursts overall, not a bunch of short bursts. It just tells you the pack is voltage is just sagging way too much. So, uh, ended up being 160 degrees at the end of testing. Um, had an internal resistance initially of 51. Uh, that's not good. I mean, brand new. These packs should be, you know, at the most in the 20s, low 30s. Especially for the price you're paying. I mean, this pack came in at $32.99. It just, to me, just seems way, way overhyped for both the 1580 and the 1360 I mean it was bad it was literally almost instantly they were both sagging you know a bunch so that's definitely going to show up in the air um, but it had the lightest weight at 145 grams so I mean it's kind of a give and a take you know when it comes to this hobby so uh, at that that's going to be the conclusion of these eight batteries and the testing I did to them for the uh, ADC uh, continuous current amp and uh, personally you know I, I it's hard to pick which ones I like the best uh, the uh, the adrenaline series uh, 1300 and both the tattoo 1550 and 1300 were very well performers but they come at a premium price um, on the cheaper end, a battery that performed really well that I was really surprised with being a high volt was the gold label and it just did remarkably well, especially for a, a high volt, a $25 battery, you know, and uh, being as it's $15 cheaper, if not more than the others, it did remarkably well. The Infinity, uh, kind of in the same price realm, it did it did pretty good. Um, you know, for what you get, I mean, 29 seconds burst at 80 amps is, is nothing to laugh at, you know, down to 14 uh, volts. So I feel it did well, and I was really disappointed with the Rebels. I mean, they did pretty, pretty bad in this test, so I don't know what to say about that. Um, but anyways, that's going to be the end of this uh, review, and uh, of course my opinions. Uh, Feel free to take those with a grain of salt. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, my previous videos link down in the description along with the uh, spreadsheet and uh, all the information to my testing methodologies and all that fun stuff. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, and uh, let, me, uh, let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think. Thanks, guys. See you.